Okay, so I'm going to divert from my usual home repair, home inspection videos and talk a little bit about automotive. So we're on the way home the other night and from dinner, having dinner on Saturday night and the transmission starts acting up. <clears throat> so I discovered that water was getting into this transmission fluid and transmission fluid was getting into our coolant. So on a Ford Escape 2015 there's only one spot, if I'm correct, and I'm pretty sure I am, that this, these two fluids, your coolant and your tranny fluid, can mix, and that's inside of here. This is the little trans oil cooler. And this sits on top of the transmission. So, on a 2013 and newer Ford Escape, it's not up by the radiator. It, this, this is tucked underneath the battery, on top of the transmission underneath the you know almost underneath like the windshield it's way back there it's accessible but it's just it's a tight you got to take off take out the battery take the cowl off take and I'm gonna show you the process and so the only reason I'm putting this video up is because there's not a lot on the web on YouTube with the newer Ford escapes like past 2013 I don't know if this is gonna th this will cause our transmission to be total totally ruined I don't think so because this transmission fluid should be it should not have this pink color to it okay it should be red okay because I and I and the good thing is I recently I had recently uh, changed out this fluid before this uh, incident occurred so what happened is a leak developed inside of here and it allowed the two fluids to intermix one with the other. There was no leaks externally. It, would, it just occur, it's occurring inside of, the, if, of here. This is the new one and I'm going to show you how to get to the old one and replace it and all that. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to have to ask for your forgiveness. There's some traffic in the background. So here it is, 2015 Ford Escape. I've already removed the battery. Unfortunately, it didn't dawn on me to start filming until I had already gotten down to this cooler. So I'll, I'll put it back together. And in order to, to know how to get to it, you'll have to just watch the video kind of backwards. So I do apologize. So here is the cooler. The little cooler's right here. And I've already taken off the hoses. This this hose is the coolant hose, and then there's another one right there. These two openings are the transmission ports. Right here. Okay, those just there's a simple bolt that holds it down. It's really not hard. This is the part that we gotta replace. So you can see how it's just kind of it's tucked underneath there. So, what I'm going to do is put these little caps from, from the new one because there's still fluid inside of this old one and I don't want it to go everywhere. And so, I'm going to put these caps in here and then get, pull this old one out. It'll go, it's just you're going to have to move stuff out of your way. When you do stuff like this, you just got to be patient and you don't want to ruin things, you know, while you're trying to make repairs. Okay, I've got the new cooler in place. My next step is to just uh, bolt it down before I hook all these hoses back up. There's a bolt hole. There's two. Two bolts on that end and one on this end. I uh, can't, it's hard to show you here, but there's one right there. Right there. One on the other side. You get to it from you got to come down through these wires right down through there and you'll get to it so that's what I'll do all right I have the new cooler bolted down now what I need to do is connect the the two transmission lines one here goes inside there and then the two cool coolant lines and that's what I'll do next it's pretty simple you just connect them up um, 
the transmission lines have a bolt that goes there and just holds the holds the fitting down in there with some o-rings to seal it i'll do that now okay so we got the cooler in i got the lines uh attached next thing i want to do is make this electrical connection right here and that gets pushed in to the this is the battery frame the support i guess for the battery box and the battery and it gets uh, it just pushes in with a Christmas tree fastener, which needs replaced, but it'll probably work. It just pushes in to some holes right there, so that's what I'll do now. Okay, the next thing I'll do is I will remount this bracket. I took it off just to have more room to work. It just supports some electrical connections. There's a the nut here, there, take those out, put this bracket on, and then bolt it back down. Okay, the next thing that'll go in is the battery box and that will have to get manipulated down in there and it has three bolts uh, one there there and one here okay those get fastened there 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 okay that's the next step i'll do that now all right, now the next step, the battery box is in, bolted. We're going to put the battery in, and you just have to slowly manipulate it in. It goes, it'll go, it's just, just go slow with it, and uh, it'll fit in there. And this front piece, this front piece, you can move it back a little bit. You don't want to go too crazy on it, because the wires and everything, but the room is there. Okay, the battery's in, and now we'll put the battery support over the battery there's a nut there and there it just keeps the battery from jumping around while you're driving all right the next step is to install this air box so this part this is the bottom of it and it'll go down in there and then some of the brackets have snapped off on this one so this little peg will go into this grommet here and then this and here gets attached to this port uh, that's where it gets the uh, air I guess and then once you get the bottom in you put the air filter in and then you'll put the top on the top cover and then you'll have one electrical connector right here so I'm gonna do that okay I want to make a note about some parts that I'm not gonna put in at this very moment I'm not going to worry about these, but the battery cover, the top, I'm not going to fool with that. I, probably, I may not even put, ever put that back on, but there is two, there's a two-piece plastic. It's called the cowl, and it goes over this. I'm not even going to do that right now, including the wipers. I just want to um, get this going. This bolts to the cowl. Uh, it's, the, it's the brake fluid reservoir, and I'll just probably uh, bungee this up temporarily. Uh, but basically... Everything's connected, airbox connector. Uh, we have all I need to do now is I've already drained the coolant and the transmission fluid, and I'm going to add fresh fluid, fl fresh coolant, and run it a little bit easily, gently, and then probably do about three or four drain and fills to get some new fresh uh, fluids in the system, both the coolant and the tranny. Okay, so I went, took this on a trip, a little road trip, got it up to temperature. It's uh, working okay. Um, there's a lot to be said about the procedure I'm doing. I mean, I'm not properly flushing this system. I'm just doing, I'm going to end up doing a bunch of drain and fills. So I'm going to drain the fluid out, you know, run it a while, drain it out, run it a while. Same thing with the coolant system. I'm not saying this is the way you should go about this, but this is the way that I'm doing this. Okay, so, so far seems to be um, okay. In other words, I don't think I've done permanent damage to the transmission. So once we get this, you know, fluid cleaned up, I think we'll be fine. So I will uh, keep you all posted on this, but I just hope maybe this helps somebody if they have a um, escape. Your cooler is right, transmission oil cooler is right down there. Let's see if I can
can get my hand right down in there. It's not up here. Don't even search. I took, I had half of this front bumper off, and then I, my intuition started telling me, I'm not seeing these transmission lines anywhere. Uh, so, anyway, I will um, keep you posted on this car. I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, say one more thing about this transmission. The drain plug is right here uh, on this uh, vehicle. So let me just kind of come back here to give you an idea. This is the front of the vehicle. So that's that's the uh, drain plug right there. I have still never found the level plug that you pull out and let it run and fill it up until it starts coming out that port. But uh, so you know, so far so good on this. Uh, so far so good on this uh, car. You know, the thing about when you get your transmission fluid and your coolant and vice versa, the thing about mechanics is they're going to be real hesitant to want to deal with this because more often than not, it's it's going to, I think a lot of times it causes damage to the transmission. So the my, my local mechanic, very reputable mechanic, very well established uh, mechanic he didn't want to fool with this um, he I, I don't think it, the whole situation made him nervous I know a lot of the technical guys will say once you get coolant in your transmission <clears throat> you need to take it in and let them do their thing it's a very specific machine that um, flushes this transmission fluid out of here and my mechanic did not have that and so you know, I just, my intuition said that the transmission's probably okay um, because of a lot of factors. But my technique is just this I'm going to drain and fill this thing and hope for the best. And I'll just, I'll let you know. So I'm not saying this is the way you should go about this. This, I'm just documenting the way I did this. So you know keep that in mind all right thank you one more thing I wanted to show you is this is the coolant reservoir look at the green coolant and then the layer of the brown tranny scum floating on top oil floats on top of water so this is one way this is a, it's good to keep an eye on this and if there is a problem, this is what it'll look like. This transmission has no dipstick. 6F35 transmission, I believe. I probably would have put a dipstick in this design, but I'm not knocking forward because I'm really happy with this vehicle. So keep an eye on, the, on this reservoir. If you want to check your tranny fluid, you just have to let a little out of the drain plug.